Y'all don't be thinking about that. When these people be saying that God says stuff like me a sermon, because you know, if you say God says something, like my ears is close. When you get it wrong, don't quit. Clean up your mess and try again. Guys, welcome to Barino Babs Bint and All. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin Jack Hill Perry. Jack Hill Perry is going to uh, be one of the speakers with Bill Johnson in July. Okay? We did um, a video about her recently, but just to jog your memory. So this is Jack Hill Perry and this is uh, Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson is a well-known heretic. This is not even an exaggeration. Bill Johnson is one of the guys in the um, national, uh, new aposto apost apostolic reformation. And he refers to himself as an apostle. And he has his prophets the whole nine yards. That's what they do. And Jackie is going to be one of the speakers there. And... I already did a video about this issue, but Jackie has put out a video, okay? Explaining that mm, she's going to be calling out people who are false teachers who always say things like, you know, God told me this, that, and the third. We need to be looking at them side eye. So I'm out here wondering, which is it, Jackie? Okay, which is it, Jackie? So, uh, I'm going to share with you the video that Jackie put out. And we just have to hear her in her own words. Okay? So, this is Jack Hill Perry. Here we go. Be thinking, Y'all don't be thinking about that. When these people be saying that God says stuff, like me a sermon. Because, you know, if you say God says something, like my ears is close. Because in my mind, he's the Lord of hosts, the Lord of glory. I want to know what he's saying. So, when they say it, like I, I hear God say it, I'll be like, oh, what did he say? And they be like, you know... God is saying uh, that your debt going to be paid off. Oh, okay. Did he add an addendum to that, that you just need to steward your money right? Or we need to bring Dave Ramsey in here or something? Or he just said that, is that for everybody? Is that just for, a few? it's just, or God said, you know, that uh, you, you're not going to suffer for long. Oh, okay. You really could have quoted the scripture for that. Like, I don't even think you had to paraphrase what you thought. Because at some point we're lying. At some point, we have to call it what it, we're lying. Like, you know what I think some of this is? I, I honestly think some of this is that some people, not all, because people are in categories. You have people who are just unlearned and, you know, they're like Apollos, like they need a, a Priscilla and a, a, and a, a her husband to just pull them aside and say, hey, there's a better way to do this. Da, 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 da. There's, th there's that category. There's some people that are deceived that just need to be rebuked real hard. Like, oh, maybe you should chill out. There's some people that know what they're doing. This, this is a... This Okay, so you can hear what she is saying, and I am 100% in agreement with what she is saying. Yes, she's correct. Everything. More of this, please, Jack Hill Perry. Okay, more of this, please, Jack Hill Perry. But how can Jackie be saying what she is saying, and yet she is out here? getting ready to be one of the speakers with Bill Johnson. How can, can you square that circle for me? Right? Can you square that circle for me? So not only that, Jackie uh, kept on... Um, let me share something else that Jackie also put out, okay? So this is Jackie right here. So as you can see, this group over here, okay, this, uh, this is Sarah Jax Roberts. And I've already done some videos about her. She is the queen of scripture twisting. God told me this, God told me that, it just comes out of her mouth. And, you know, this is uh, Lisa Harper. This is Christina Kane, another false teacher. Okay, I don't know who these three are. But Jackie Hill, this is what she says. She put out here. And I quote, I'm going to be a bit frank. So crutch your pearls or grab your tea, whichever suits you best. One thing I want you all to know about me is that I'm not tribalistic. When it comes to ministry, you might see me 
platform you might see me let me see and, and i quote you might see me on platforms with reformed folk one day and with non-reformed folk the next day you might see me laughing it up with a southern baptist one moment and being churchy with some kojic saints the next why because i believe that god's church is big and multifaceted and it's made up of people that are complicated and nuanced our approaches to evangelism the local church preaching spiritual gifts worship style edc vary but when there is a unified commitment to the gospel of jesus christ the inerrancy plus authority of scripture and love for or I, 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 you know, and love for, I guess, and love for the church. Because I could I, I cannot see what else is after that. Okay? So, the statement that Jack Hill put out here. Okay? No problem. We have uh, people different. Oh, you know, there's, you know, you, we, we have Presbyterians. Okay? We have Christians. We, we have Baptists. They, there's all sorts of denominations. That is not the issue. Nobody has a problem with that. The issue comes when people who profess to name the name of Christ are in cahoots, are doing quote-unquote ministry with, with people who publicly denounce the same God, the same Jesus you're proclaiming. You see, that's the problem. Jehovah's Witness, the Mormons, they, they say they worship Jesus. They call the name of Jesus. But you have to ask which Jesus. It's not the same. Uh, we have already demonstrated as far as Bill Johnson is concerned, and there's more to Bill Johnson. So this is the issue with Jackie. There's no problem with Jackie Hill being, uh, even if she's best friends with uh, Sarah Jakes, even if Bill Johnson is related to Jackie Hill Perry, that's not the issue, okay? The issue is not about guilty by association, no. The issue is you profess something else, and these people profess something else. When you combine your ministry with such people, you are sending in confusion. Because the scripture says to mark and avoid those who contradict the teachings of Jesus. That's what we are saying out here. Not that you shouldn't be friends with them, not that you shouldn't share the gospel with them, but your association, you are compromising that is the problem so we we are not done with jackie because uh you know she continued to speak so let's continue to listen in to what uh, jackie had to say in this issue this is a, a way to like posture myself as a spiritual authority but i think some people they got the mic and they hand off things and a thought enters their mind a thought and they're so arrogant and so far from the heart of God that they sanctify the thought and say, oh, because it entered my mind, it must therefore be God. When the Bible says to test everything, where in scripture does this find authority before I say it? Yeah, I'm going to read y'all something in Jeremiah because I just think it's time. And I'm waiting on my salad. So I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do because I ate a donut yesterday. Uh, verse 14, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 14, 14. And the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I did not send them, nor did I command them or speak to them. They are prophesying to you a lying vision, worthless divination, and the deceit of their own minds. It's just, it's just things they're making up in their own brains. And they're saying, I said it. And you know how you can confirm if God said it? Read the book. Is it in the book? <laughs> Is it in the book or not? I'm one more thing, one more thing. Yes, is it in the book? That's the point. That's why we're out here saying, girl, you got it right there. So if it's not in the book, what are you doing with these four stitches? Help me out here. What are you doing doing ministry with four stitches? That's the problem. That is the issue. And we cannot just pretend like it's nothing. Okay, so here is Bill Johnson. Listen to him. I have just fallen in love with this man. I am so thankful that we have the opportunity to receive a real believer, a believing believer, a, a, a man of genuine faith. And I believe that God is going to release over us. In fact, that was the word I got in 2012, that there would be a specific release over this house. And I just feel like the luckiest guy on the planet to be able to say, here's my friend. Did you hear that? I caught, he got a specific word from God and no scripture, no backing. But Jack tells us that people who say that, 
you gotta look at them a side eye. So is Jackie going to be looking at Bill Johnson with a side eye? I'm asking. But we continue. And Kenneth Copeland to come to minister to us tonight. I'd like for you to welcome him. Praise God. <laughs> now they want nine thousand dollars for that airplane. Nineteen fifty-nine Skyling, Session Skyling. Do we have a picture of that airplane, Henry? There it is. So guys, hey, <laughs> that is Kenneth Copeland in there. Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> Here's what you have to know, okay? Anybody who dares to platform Kenneth Copeland, I'm telling you, you don't have to look twice this way or that way, okay? You don't even have to find out anything about that. Run and run and run. Because <laughs> you cannot be... There's no way you can be orthodox. There's no way you can be a true person who is preaching the gospel and you have the nerve, the audacity to welcome Kenneth Copeland in your church to be teaching what? Hmm? Kenneth Copeland has no business to be in front of any pulpit. N nothing at all. So Bill Johnson, okay, has got no problem with uh, bringing in Kenneth Copeland uh, on his pulpit. One thing that you have to look, uh, you know, every church that you go to, look at your pastors, see who he lets to be on their platform. Pastors are very protective of their pulpits. Why? Because if they're bringing somebody on the pulpit, they approve of that, part, uh, of that person's teaching. So it's okay for you to be following that person, for you to be listening to that person by virtue of your pastor bringing that particular person on the pulpit. That's why pastors are very protective of their, of their pulpits, rightfully so. So if Bill Johnson has no problem whatsoever giving his pulpit to Kenneth Copeland, do I need to say more? Hmm? Do I need to say more? <laughs> Kenneth Copeland, <laughs> I don't think, is there, a, I don't know if anybody surpasses Con Kenneth Copeland, okay? And Bill Johnson has got no problem with Benny Hinn, I might add, you know, with the cherry on top. No problem well, with Benny Hinn, that is just a cherry on top, okay? So that's what uh, Jackie, uh, this is the people that, according to her, should be doing ministry with all sorts of people. It's not an issue. But now, and she has this video that she's telling us, like, mm, no, wait a minute. We need to be careful about the people uh, who always say, okay, you know, God told me this, that. Okay? So, I welcome that. I welcome that fully. But we need more of that. So, let's continue to hear what she says. Because the amount of deceit that's happening in these social media, local church streets, in the American church has me bothered. And I'm like, I'm going to have to start pushing back more. Because anyway, if a sermon, a 45-minute sermon, if the, the pastor or the communicator's opinions, clever ideas, anecdotes, observation, if that makes up the majority of the sermon and not God's word, then that already tells me that I'm listening to somebody who wants to establish their authority more than Christ's authority. And so when you have the audacity to then say, God said, I don't care what you're saying, God said, because you didn't even appeal to his word. Like his word isn't, isn't even the basis of, the, of this entire message. So that tells me that's how you live your life. I don't want it. One more, last thing for real. Some of what has made us susceptible Okay, yes, amen. We need that, Jackie. Okay, give us more of that, Jackie. I welcome it. I welcome it. But, so we continue because that is just, uh, that is not all, given the situation with uh, Bill Johnson. So let's listen in to what Bill Johnson said. Uh, one of my favorite stories of uh, Chris is he was sitting across the uh, table from ha having a meal. He and his wife Kathy were having a meal with some good friends of ours. And they had been married for, I don't know, I think 16 years, something like that. They were, wanted to have children. They never could. It was, it was actually impossible for them to have children. They finally found out. And the Lord spoke to Chris and said, tell them they'll have a child by this time next year. Well, that <laughs> tends to make one nervous. Okay, so uh, Chris Vallotton is a prophet and uh, 
uh, he's a prophet at Bethel. Bill Johnson is an apostle. Chris Valentin is a prophet. But they all speak this language of uh, God told me this, God told me that. We have already done some videos about Sarah Jakes. You just click any of her videos. She's going to be telling you, uh, you know, God told me, according to her, a uh, woman in the wilderness. It, you know, just stuff that you're not going to find in the scripture. But I digress. So, everything that Jackie Hill Perry is saying, I am in 100% in agreement. What I'm wondering, what I'm asking, which is it, Jack? Because you're out here, getting ready to be platform with bill johnson you have no problem according to your own words platforming uh doing ministry with you know christina king no problem with sarah jakes none of those people okay but these are the same people every time they preach every time they teach all they tell us is quote unquote god told me this god told me that Okay, and yet you're out here, you want everything to be in the scripture, which I do agree. God speaks to us through his word. I agree with that. But what's the deal with the situation with Bill Johnson? How do you defend yourself on that? This is nothing to do with guilty by association. We're going by Bill Johnson's ministry and the ministry that you are uh, and the ministry that you hold. It's not the same. And Jack actually does agree that uh, the new apostolic reformation, they, they, go, they go beyond the gospel. They go beyond the gospel. So if you believe that they go beyond the gospel, what fellowship do you have with these people? But to all this foolishness is that we need to re-engage with the fundamentals and the basics of the faith. These are fundamental things, such as, what does it mean that scripture is God-breathed? What does it mean that scripture has authority? What is the canon and why is the canon closed? What is the place of prophecy in the New Testament or not New Testament, but what is the place of prophecy now in the church today, in the local church? Um, what, what does Paul mean in Hebrews 1 when he said that back in the day, God spoke to us in many ways through the prophets, but now he has spoken to us finally in his son. What, what, what does it mean to not quench the spirit, to not despise prophecy, but to test everything? How do we test everything? Like, like these are really basic questions that I think if we, we get these down, deep into our consciousness, we'll be on guard from craziness. Like, y'all don't be thinking, y'all don't be thinking about that. When these people be saying that God says stuff. Yes. A man and a man and a man. Those are the things that they need to be answered. So I hope those questions are, are going to people like Sarah Jakes. Okay? Those are the things that we, and if we believe that long ago, many times God spoke, uh, to our fathers and the prophets, but in this last day he has spoken to us through his son, Jesus Christ, Hebrews 1.1. 1, 1. And then why are we out here saying that, okay, you know, people are getting this quote-unquote fresh revelation. God is telling them all sorts of things that are just not there in the scriptures. So we are in full agreement with what Jackie is saying here. But we are just asking, how do we square what she is saying and her being uh, on the same stage with Bill Johnson? Unless if Jack is telling us that her plan is to go to uh, to uh, to do this speaking engagement and she's going to go out there and call out Bill Johnson and the entire Bethel and the and the Harris that's coming out of there. OK, that she's just going to go out like, OK, you know what? Just going to go, go scorched eighth. OK, I will have no problem with that. I confess. But if you're going over there and just be like, OK, you know, we believe the same thing. We just deliver one or two things. Kumbaya. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is the issue. That is definitely an issue. OK, so let's continue to hear more from Bill Johnson with, you know, the the prophecy that they were prophesying. I guess we, we, we can call it as such, quote unquote, the prophecy. Here we go. Uh, how about if I go to my prayer closet and pray for that to happen right to it? And, and he's really sweating bullets, you know, uh, uh, getting to the place where he would be willing to say that. And, and he said, Lord, he said, That's, I, I can't do that. And the Lord spoke to him and said, if you don't say it, it won't happen. And there are things that won't happen without your decree. Okay, so we already know that's not true. If God wants to do something, he's going to do it. God is not depending on you or on me that if you don't, if he decrees something, if you don't do it, and then it's not going to come. I, I don't know how those things 
build Johnson Square, those things. But this is the teaching that's coming out of Bethel, and people are believing those things. And those things are, quote-unquote, uh, the prophets that people are believing. And can, where can we check those things in Scripture? We can't. So, yes, everything that Jack is saying is, I, I am with her. I agree with her. So I'm just asking, can you apply the same things that you're saying to Bethel? Can you apply the same things that you're saying to Sarah Jakes? Can you apply the same thing that you're saying to Christina King? Can you apply the same things that you're saying to your associations with people who are so busy promoting this so-called, uh, quote-unquote, God told me this, God told me that, is what I'm saying. We have to remember, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. We should be avoiding even the appearance of evil. So let's finish up with the prophecy from uh, Bill Johnson. Here we go. Yeah, he leaned over the table. He said, by this time next year, you'll have a child. And they did. Within the next year, they had a child. It was impossible. <laughs> but he had this. When you get it wrong, don't quit. Clean up your mess and try again. This may sound strange to you, but in our school of ministry, our students are actually required to get it wrong. If they don't fail at least three times in the first year, we won't let them in the third, second year. Why? If you're not willing to take risk to the point where you get it wrong, you probably won't get it right in the way you need to. But secondly, we want you to get it wrong in a loving environment so you know how to clean up your mess. There you have it with Bill Johnson. They actually promote at their school where Jackie is going to go and be teaching uh, at the worship school, they want them to be, they are, they are, it's a school of prophecy and working miracles, right? That's what they teach over there. According to whatever they do over there, they want you to be able to get it wrong and you're going to get it wrong in the quote-unquote loving environment, which is good. That way you're learning. Uh, where are we getting that? Make no mistake about it. They're not saying that you're getting wrong, like you know, you're writing exam, you're you're making you 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 are getting something wrong, okay? Because you didn't know. That's a different story here. When we are talking about prophecy, when we are talking about the things of God, there's no room for you to be getting uh, the prophecy wrong, because by definition, the prophecy cannot be wrong. Okay, because God cannot lie because God is not a man that he should lie and God does not lie. So anything, in fact, if a prophet lies, he has spoken presumptuously. You, he's not to be feared in the Old Testament. You, you're gone. You're dead. You, you're going to be stoned to death. Okay, so you are playing with fire. Somebody can, you know, can misinterpret scripture. We can understand that we are the ones who can be in error, but the scripture cannot be in error. And a prophet cannot be in error because a prophet is one who speaks on behalf of God. That's why Hebrews tells us long ago in many times, God spoke to us through his prophets. In this last day, he has spoken to us through his son. We already have his word in the, in the scriptures. So it's very dangerous today when people call themselves um, prophet this or prophet that. Okay, the office of prophet no longer exists. No, no matter how people call themselves that they are, they, they, they can call themselves prophet till cows come home. That office no longer exists. Even the apostle office, it doesn't exist. Because in order for you to be an apostle, you had to be an eyewitness to Jesus' ministry. Last time I checked, there's no way Bill Johnson can be that. So, according to Bill Johnson, they let these students get uh, the prophecy wrong. That way they can learn. They can learn to clean up their mess. Okay, there's nothing to clean up here. It's nothing cleaning up their mess. It's time for you to repent. It's time for you to stop teaching falsehoods. It's time for you to stop promoting things that the Bible does not promote. Now, you know, uh, does anything that Bill Johnson says, uh, that's wrong? No, there's some, some things that he says that, are, that, that you can agree with, that I can agree with. But as a whole, the ministry that they have at Bethel, it's in contradiction with the scripture. Therefore, there is no any reason or any excuse for anybody to be fellowshipping with those people. Those people, they need to be called out to, uh, to repentance. So the things that Jackie Hill Perry is saying, she should just apply those things to Bethel. But she cannot be saying those things, saying those things with one hand, and then one hand you're out here doing ministry with Bill Johnson. That's a contradiction. Okay, because these two things are in opposition with each other. 
everything that she said in this video, I said yes and amen. But she cannot be saying those things and busy doing ministry with Bill Johnson. It's nothing to do with Gude by Association. I've already explained that to you. It's nothing to do, oh, I'm going to go over there and quote unquote share the gospel. Well, you can share the gospel now. You don't have to be in cahoots with them in order for you to share the gospel unless if you're going there to call them out to repent, to call them up with the false teaching that they're doing. Well, that's a different story, but I don't know how you're going to do that if you accepted the invitation because I'm sure there's guidelines, right? Things of that nature. But that thing is in July. Who knows? Between now and then, Jackie might change course. We welcome that, okay? Because she just dropped this video after she was already listed as one of the speakers. So she is still one of the speakers, but, you know, anything can happen. I do appreciate her. Um, she had, She was supporting... The Anyagram, she no longer supports it. She did a video to retract, which is good, okay? That needs to be, uh, I, I commend her for doing that. You were supporting one thing, which was wrong, and she was told about it, but, you know, she kept on it, but eventually she realized, like, no, this is not it. She made a, a, a correction, and she made it public, which is good. So I do commend her for doing that um, as far as the Anyagram is concerned. So keep praying for her. So hopefully she will do the same thing as far as the uh, this the Bill Johnson situation is also concerned. So here's the scripture. Second Corinthians uh, 11, okay? And I'll read verse 12. And what I'm doing, I'll continue to do in order to undermine the claim of those who would like to claim that in their boasted mission, they work on the same terms as we do. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. This is Paul laying it out, okay? Laying it out as far as people who are going to, you know, pretending that they are with you. They are preaching the same word. They are doing the work of righteousness, but they are disguising themselves as uh, workers of righteousness, but they're not. And Bill Johnson is that type of a guy. And he calls himself an apostle. He's not. I've already explained that. That's why we are on this issue. That's why we are on this issue, okay? We are to expose the deeds of darkness, not to partner with the deeds of darkness. So I appreciate for Jack Hero for putting out that video. I hope that she's going to uh, change her mind as far as her doing the ministry with people who are outright compromising on the word of God. I've given an example of Sarah Jex. I've already done some videos about Sarah Jex. And we've shown here, demonstrated here, Bill Johnson, as well as the previous videos. There's other people out there who've done so much good work exposing uh, the work that's happening at Bethel and all this. Jack Hill, you know, she's been, uh, uh, she's been around the block for quite some time. So I'm sure she's seen these things. She's heard these things. So pray for her. She has a huge influence. There's a lot of women who do follow her. So there's other people who are going to follow these issues, get swept in thinking that there's not, everything is fine. No big deal as far as Bethel is concerned. No, it is a big deal. I hope you find this to be informative to you. I'm interested to know what you guys think about this whole thing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.